Allison Meyer from the Fox Valley is our Cooking with You guest today, and we are talking squash. We're talking squash. Yeah. You can do pretty much anything with them, right? You can, and I think the best thing about squash, and everybody knows it, it's great with brown sugar. Mm -hmm. This has brown sugar, but it also has um, a spicy chili garlic sauce, so it's kind of a twist, which is fun. Awesome. What do you so, need for this? So you need uh, just one large squash, so I've got one here. Okay. Scoop out the seeds, we so we'll one. do that. And this, I think we determined is an acorn squash. Yeah, I think so. so. Really easy to <laughs> Looks scoop. Looks like it. All those seeds. So we're doing the Rachel Ray thing, I think, right now, where you like scoop you into know, the bowl. I think that's a great idea to have something then just like dump it in the trash when you're finished with it, all yep. in one bowl. Easy cleanup, as Rach would say. Okay. So then once you have it scooped out, literally just flip it over and we're, we're gonna cut it. And I hope I don't make an ugly cutting face because these are really hard to, <laughs> to cut. They but are. Yeah, so you just do really thin, really thin pieces like okay. this. Really sharp knife, so try not to cut myself. And that's the thing, when I have had squash, whether it's butternut squash, spaghetti, you gotta be really careful it's when you're cutting It's kind of a nightmare, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was not easy to do, which is why I actually cut it before, because it's hard. So, so um, once you do this, I'll have you place these actually on the um, cookie tray. And I'll just cut a couple more here. And this is good on its own. I've actually made it, um, to put on a salad. Ooh. So, yeah, just totally. throw whatever. Yep. Okay. So that's that. And then for the actual sauce that you put on it, we have three tablespoons of um, oil. So I used coconut oil. You could use any, any kind of oil. And then we'll put the brown sugar in that. Three tablespoons of brown sugar. And then I'm gonna do a teaspoon of the chili garlic sauce. Okay. So this is the the magic sauce right now. So can I use this to stir it? Yeah. Just a simple mix like that. Master mixer. Ooh. <laughs> a little messy, but that's okay. There we Messy's go. Messy's good. Yes. Okay, so simple. We just pour this over the squash. So just kind of evenly coat it and drizzle it on. Okay. And then if you feel like getting even messier, you can rub it around on the squash with your fingers. Yeah, I'm gonna do We're, that. That'll probably make it coat it better yeah. yeah yep so simple simple so you are going to roast this in the oven for um, about 20 minutes at 375 degrees okay. simple you just throw it in and, and roast it when it comes out you're actually going to the recipe calls for feta cheese mm. so you sprinkle it with feta which I have here and we don't really need to do it and then you have to um, pick out whatever types of herbs you like mm. I have thyme because I love thyme um, and oregano, basil, you can put whatever you want on it. Um, and so once it comes out of the oven, it's piping hot, cheese will melt, Ooh. sprinkle with herbs, salt and pepper, done. And it looks like that. It looks like that. Yummy. Yeah. As I go wash my hands, let's bring up the picture really quick of you and your husband and your dog. Yeah, Tell that's us about Lola. This. Oh my gosh. And she's um, a banana split for Halloween <laughs> this year. I'm not sure if you can see it, but. Um, She's our only child, yep. so you know you do these things. You put them in costumes, and she looks less than thrilled in that photo. But it's a cute picture, though. It's kind of cute. You gotta get a cute her. picture. The best part is Allison shared these recipes, so they're on our website for this one and the one we made in the seven o'clock hour. That pork tenderloin, fabulous stuff. Yeah. Don't go anywhere though. Good day, Wisconsin. We'll be right back.